So we're going to talk about the concept of a Boolean flag. It's a pretty straightforward concept. I'm just going to make something called Boolean, Boolean flag. And I'm going to set it to false. Now, the way to think about this is we've got, say, a list of words. I'm going to say words, and let's do badger, mole, turtle, and uh, butler. Okay. And I'm going to say for every word, for word in words, so now we've got access to word, if word.count, if there is more than one t, so let's say if word.count of t is greater than one, then we're going to flag, we're going to flag it. We're going to say boolean flag is going to be true. And then we can just print the boolean flag. So if I run this, oh, we're going to get true. Now if, uh, if turtle was turtle, and I ran this, we would get false. So, you know, this is just a single flag, and there are a lot of cases where you might use a flag, but let's, let's think of this um, in terms of more multidimensional data. Oops, let's make this a nested list, and let's, oops, Let's say, uh, instead of Boolean flag, let's do a flag list. And just go ahead and do name it flag list. And then I'm just going to make all of these false. So we're kind of doing the same thing. Where, uh, in, where we're going to just end up with what we would call a parallel list. And, oh gosh, not sure why VS Code has such terrible autofill features. Um, I could probably figure it out. I could probably make them a little bit better, but um, <laughs> for myself, I could probably customize them. But uh, yeah, anyway, VS Code's great. Trust in VS Code, unless you find a better text editor. Um, and if you do, uh, convince me, please, to use it. Okay, so um, I'm going to rewrite this for loop. And I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite it from scratch. So if we're going to want to traverse words still, and so for each list, for each inner list in words, we're going to look at each word. So for each word in inner. And then um, let's go ahead and just print what that word is to make sure that we are getting what we expect. So Badger, mole, turtle, butler. Yep. So we're getting, we're getting exactly there. Uh, Boolean flag is not defined. Of course, it's not. Um, when we get there, this is going to be called flag list. So I'll just comment that out for the moment. So um, since we've got these two lists, we want them to be parallel. And to get to to apply parallelism to lists, you're going to want to have the in indices. So I'm going to get index, index one on words, which is just going to be zero or one, right? And to get that, I'm going to enumerate words like, like that. We saw enumerate in an earlier lesson. Um, and for index two and word, because this is where the actual word lives, it's in 
the inner in inner, um, then now we can set these indices and take a look at that. So index one and index two. If I print this, too many values to unpack, expected to. Index one, index two, word, where is my error? Index one, inner, index two, word, and enumerate inner, right. It was expecting two values, enumerate is going to return two values. So zero, zero is badger, zero, one is mole, zero, two, et cetera. So this gives us our indexing. And with that indexing, we can say, well, if uh, word dot count of the letter T is greater than one, so if we have two or more T's in a word, then we can set that given flag, right? So we take the index in our flag list, which is going to be index one, index two, and we can just set it to true. Now when we print this, we should see something, hopefully something helpful. False, 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 right? So that all of these, none of these have more than one T. False, false, true, false, right? So that, uh, you know, Hopefully that gives a, an idea, a bigger idea of what a Boolean mask can accomplish. Um, and this will inform the idea of a Boolean mask, which you're going to see a lot in pandas and NumPy.